Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello guys, today we are going to learn about how to make weather deviation call for RT exam. So let's recap guys about some important points which we should keep it in our mind before making weather deviation call. Number one, whenever we want to make changes in our filed flight plan, we should always try to stay as much as close to our file flag plan why so because if we are close to our filed flight plan we are safe than any other place because atc is aware about our flight plan also in case if we are able to recover from any circumstance like weather turbulence etc we can easily join back to our route so that's why we should always try to be nearby our planned route. Second, our first priority should be to select the route segment to reroute the flight. Which means, like if we have to divert, we have to choose whatever is available on your route. Because that is already planned. So we should avoid unplanned route guys. So we can say like in case we have to divert from our planned route, our choice must be segment route because at segment route everything is planned and you have ATC with you most of the time. For example guys whenever we drive car and have to divert from main road due to any reason we always prefer to go by another link road not any way alright not in open field due to safety facility and many more. Likewise, we do it in a sky, we prefer segment route, alright? Next, we should never enter in closed airspace. Why? Because closed airspace is a restriction. That's why it is closed. Otherwise, it must open for everybody, right? But, in case of vertical separation, use it to avoid the closed airspace. We should check level of restriction. If we can avoid it with the vertical separation, we should do that. Next point is we should never enter in any other ATS route without permission of ATC. Means if we are going from Delhi to Mumbai, then we will be in touch with certain ATCs on that route, whoever is available. So that route is planned, right? In case if we are diverting or maybe joining any other ATS route which was not planned, we have to take prior permission. And there is a reason behind it because you do not know what kind of traffic flow is there. I would say it's not about good or bad, it is mandatory due to security reasons. Next is we would deviate horizontally by avoiding radius of CB by 10 nautical mile. Keep it in mind guys, in CB always horizontally, never vertically. Because CB development is vertical. If we deviate vertically, then definitely we are going to hit in CB guys, which we don't want. For deviations of less than 10 nautical mile, remain at the flight level assigned by ATC. We have covered in previous video. So like if you guys have any doubt in this point, most of the points have been covered in previous video. We are just revising. All right. So like for deviation of less than 10 nautical mile level change is not required. In case your deviation is more than 10 nautical mile, then you have to initiate a level change as per your heading. In case of any confusion guys, better to check our previous video, weather deviation, introductions and procedures. Still if you have any confusion, I am here to help you. You can comment me, you can whatsapp me. The next point is guys, we would always change direction opposite to direction of CB. We will always move opposite to the CB because we want to avoid it. Let's say if CB is moving towards left, then we will take right turn or vice versa. We always avoid climb, descent or vertical deviation 
or change in level as extent of CB is unknown. Remember, but we always do vertical deviation to avoid turbulence by changing our level. You guys can remember CB horizontally, turbulence vertically. In case we are solving any problem related to CB, we will avoid CB horizontally. We will divert in CB horizontally. But in case of turbulence, we can definitely change our level. Your turbulence is always horizontal. We can avoid it if we change our level. So I hope you can remember it CB horizontally and turbulence vertically. Next point is guys, we can only fly odd flight level on easterly direction or I would say track which is 0, 0, 0, 0002179 and even flight level on westerly track which is 1802359 as per semicircular rule guys. Again, we will cover semicircular rule in later video. So these were the points which we should remember to avoid mistakes while we make calls. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get that. You can comment and WhatsApp me in case of any query. Also tell me what is tough for you. Don't worry if it is tough for you. I will make it easy for you in my future videos. All right, guys, take care. See you soon. Here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching